Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some Super Mario Bros. 2. When Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he heard a voice that I couldn't get at all. Basically, you basically Mario um had a dream of going through this door into his dream world and then he woke up and then he like did it in real life after telling his buddies about it that's yeah this red door at the top of a st staircase that's pretty much it anyways so I'm gonna try to play as each character evenly but I wanna play the last level is Mario, so I'm going to play as Peach, then Toad, then Luigi, then Mario, and repeat. So that's how things are gonna go. So anyways, World 1-1. One, one. This game, unlike many Mario games, only has three levels per world, and it has seven worlds instead of eight. Also, the seventh world only has two levels instead of three, strangely. Um, if you've never played this game before, you might want to play as Peach, because she can glide like this. So it's really good for new, p for new players. Anyways, when you get one of these potions, you can put it down and a door will appear. You go through that door, and sometimes you can find one of these mushrooms, which extends your maximum hearts by one for the level. If I would have plucked these while in... Right now we're in a place called Subcon, and when we go through those doors and everything's reversed, it's called Subspace. If you pick plants while in Subspace, it actually gets you coins, which I probably should have done. I'll explain what coins do later. Anyways... So yeah, I've already explained the story to this game, which is something that... I did not do when I let's played the first Super Mario Bros because I thought it was just, oh, Peach got kidnapped and you have to save her, but that's actually not it. In the first Super Mario Bros, supposedly, like, Bowser turned all the toads to stone or something. Which I actually didn't know. I thought it was just go save Peach. For those of you that don't know your Mario history, this isn't the normal Super Mario Bros. 2. The original Super Mario Bros. 2 I've already let's played. It's known as the Lost Levels. And it's part of, um, part of Super Mario All-Stars, which is what I'm playing right now. Technically, I'm playing Super Mario All-Stars Plus World, but that's besides the point. Basically, they made this the American Super Mario... Oh, if you duck here and charge up, you can jump higher. I'm not going to be taking this shortcut. Basically, if you drop these bombs at the right time, you can blow a hole in that rack wall. Ow. And anyways, that door leads right to the end of the level. But I'm gonna be going through this the normal way. But yeah, so basically, they thought the Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2, the lost levels, was too hard. So in America, they made this instead, which is actually a clone of another game, just with, like, textures switched. To make it a Mario game, it was called Doki Doki Panic. And funny thing, uh, the character that Luigi replaced is actually called Mama. So, oh, the mushroom's not over here. But anyways, so yeah, Mama Luigi before Mama Luigi was a thing. Um. Anyways, yeah, and then 
this game was released in Japan as Super Mario Bros. USA. Anyways, that's pretty much all you need to know for story on this. I'm kind of surprised I didn't know the story of the original Super Mario Bros. I also didn't know the full story of Donkey Kong. I didn't realize that Donkey Kong used to be Mario's pet. I thought he was just some loose ape. Which, if you don't know, Donkey Kong in the... Ow. Donkey Kong in the original Donkey Kong NES games is actually Cranky Kong. Just in case you didn't know. Anyways, here you'll see in nearly every level there's a boss. At least one boss, and... It's always Birdo. This is the first game Birdo was in. Pick up her, her eggs. Her, her three times. Her slash him. There's controversy over that. If you would have taken the shortcut door, you would have been on the other side of this wall here and you'd just climb over it. So yeah, if you would have got those coins from plucking the plants in subspace, you would have been able to play that little mini game right there that I didn't get to do. Anyways, here I'll play as Toad now. He's not that good a jumper, but he is a strong character, from what I remember. Now this is a Pidget. Get on him, get rid of him, and you can ride his little magic carpet thing. Any mushrooms other than me? Alright, let's actually get some of these coins this time. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the cherry. So yeah, in this game, these vases are basically the equivalent of pipes, except they don't always go somewhere. They usually just go inside the pipe and that's it. Those things are phantos. When you pick up a key, they'll start chasing after you, but you can get them to stop chasing you just by le I'm doing really bad. You can get them to stop chasing you just by letting go of the key. So they're really not that threatening. I'm not sure what the cherries are for, they're just points, I guess. Here, I think this is the first appearance of a Sniffit in the Mario series. We also saw the first appearance of Shy Guys earlier. One just walked into the pit there. Yeah. Stay away from you. Not sure how much of that I needed to destroy, but oh crap. There we go. I want to make sure you destroy it enough to actually be able to get that mushroom. Those ninjas, it's their first appearance too. I thought there was another potion around here. Maybe it's down here. This thing. Now, do you put it there, or do you bring it back here? I can't remember. I, I'm pr I've never found all the mushrooms. I've never bothered to look it up. It was probably... I, pr I was probably supposed to put it right where I found it. Oh, well. What can you do?
There's also something special you can do with the potions that involves vases. Every once in a while you'll find a vase that you can't enter. And when that happens, you should bring a potion to it and go through it while in subspace. Ah, uh, I don't time this, I just kind of do it randomly. Okay, two up. But yeah, you should go into subspace by those things, because then you'll... If you go through the, the if you go through the vase while you're in subspace, then you'll actually warp to a later stage, which I'm not going to do any of that, but I'm going to let you know where all these warps are. There's four of them in the game. People have rumored that there's a fifth one, but e I'm not sure about that. Either it's not true, or it's only in the or it's only in, like, Mario Advance or one of the remakes or something. I'm really not too sure about that. But either way, in the original game and in the Super Mario All-Stars version, there's definitely only four. Now this potion, this is the potion used for the first warp. I'm not gonna enter it, but see, I can't go down this vase. If I go in here, and I went on there, and if I would've went down the vase, then I would have warped to world three, you know. I would've warped to world four, I think. Yeah, world four. Anyways, this level is a bit bigger. We actually might not finish this in the video. Especially since this is the last level in this world, which means there's going to be another boss aside from Birdo after Birdo. Also, the way I'm selecting characters, the first four times I'm going to play as Luigi, are going to be the four stages that have warps. So if you play this in the same way as I do, and you want to know which stages have warps, you can just use that as an indicator. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Whoa. Ow. Yeah, Luigi is known for being the good ju the good jumper. He can jump really high, and he has this nice little flutter jump. Alright, here's the boss, Mauser. Maybe we can actually get this in this video. not that difficult. Just use the bombs you have and the bomb- Ah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get back to that in the next video. So I'll see you then.